a shocking discovery inside a home. Neighbors had no more than 80, said no more than 80 animals were living there, and there's concern that for some dogs, the rescue may have come a bit too late. Good evening, everyone. Nearly 60 dogs taken from a home in West Price Hill are now at the animal shelter being examined by a veterinarian. Many of the dogs were found in tiny, filthy cages. Police found them by accident when they went to the home on Gilsey Avenue for a drug investigation. In a story you'll see only here on Local 12, Jeff Hirsch is live with how the dogs went unnoticed by neighbors. Jeff. Yeah, this is kind of surprising because you would think, you know, when the police came here and we found, you know, the SPCA came here, they took out nearly 60 dogs. You could figure somebody would have heard something and the police would have come here for a noise complaint or maybe a smell complaint. But they originally came here for something else. This all started out as a drug investigation with no inkling whatsoever what was going on in the shed out back. But when we executed the search warrant, we found that there was a puppy mill in operation here. <laughs> Police found about four dozen dogs in what amounted to a canine cell block. Some of the dogs were in such bad shape it was impossible to tell the breed, although all appeared to be small lap dogs. There were also a dozen rabbits and another dozen or so dogs inside the house. They're primarily in the basement and, um, and in the garage back there, but that garage, is from floor to ceiling, almost like chicken coops, from floor to ceiling, three, four, uh, five rows high and, and just as deep, filling the entire garage. It, it's, um, the air in there is actually putrid. It's, it just, it really, it's really bad in there. Despite the noise when the shed door was open, it was pretty quiet, at least to the neighbors, when the door was closed. Did you have any idea it was a couple of doors down? No, I did not. I mean, I've seen dogs there, but I've never seen a whole bunch of them. Did you ever hear anything really, really loud, a lot of dogs? I've heard dogs, but I didn't think it was like a bunch of dogs. So you're surprised? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. The resident of the house was taken away in a police car. The dogs were taken away, too, in an SPCA van. The future of those dogs and the future of the person taken away by the cops both uncertain right now. And no name has been released. At this point, no charges have been filed. And also, it is kind of a mystery because no one is saying, or maybe no one knows, was this a, a breeding puppy? Was it a puppy mill in the sense that they were raised for sale? Or were they raised to, for laboratories? Or raised for pet stores? Or was it just somebody who wanted a lot of dogs? I mean, it, that sounds ridiculous, but it, at this point, it is certainly possible. Now, if there are any charges to come out of this, certainly cruelty to animals seems like a, a logical candidate. Uh, I would like to think after all these years on the job, I know the intricacies of the city of Cincinnati zoning code, but I don't. You know, is it legal to have that many animals in that confined a space? Do you need a license? So there's a whole lot of things that are going to be looked into as this case moves forward. Live in West Price Hill, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Jeff, thanks very much. Local 12 News has a crew at the Sharonville SPCA facility now. They're gathering more information about the condition of the animals, and we'll have new information on that for you tonight at 11 o'clock.